Now to a story that's got a lot of people talking. The late Marion Barry's wife is suing the woman who donated her husband a kidney. Cora Masters Barry says that Kim Dickens is using Marion Barry's, quote, celebrity image to raise money. DC Bureau Chief Sam Ford is live in Southeast. He's got the latest on this one. Hi, Sam. Hello, Leon. Well, in this lawsuit, Mrs. Barry accuses Kim Dickens, who donated to Marion Barry a kidney of unauthorized use of her husband's name, and she is seeking restitution for any funds that she might have raised. Of course, Kim Dickens' side has a different story. For someone to give you an organ and risk their life, is significant. Morel Fauché is talking about Kim Dickens, the woman who donated a kidney to the late Marion Barry five years before his death and who is now being sued by Barry's widow, Cora Mastersberry, for holding fundraisers for a kidney foundation that Dickens and Barry formed. Barry's widow thinks it's a money grab and a violation of the estate, her attorney says. Does it mean that his image can be used and exploited by just anyone without the permission and authority of the estate? He compares it to the Martin Luther King family's fight to control the brand of the civil rights leader. But Fouché, who's treasurer of the Barry Dickens Kidney Foundation, says it's personal. Dickens was there among Barry's closest friends after his death. Yeah, I loved him so much. Did Miss Barry give him an organ? No. Kim gave him an organ. Reaction from the public? I was not wrong with it. You know, I just feel as though his wife needed to let it be. I can understand Miss Ver Barry's view on that. I mean, you know, come on. Mrs. Barry's attorney says it's simple as state law. If you're going to use his image, his name, his celebrity, his likeness, then you've got to get approval and authority and license from the estate. Are you all going to cease and desist? Uh, oh, hell no. We're going to fight. Barry and his um, widow, Cora, were living separately at the time of his death. Uh, Barry and uh, Kim Dickens, according to Fouché, at one point had had a romantic relationship, but not at the time when she donated her kidney. As for when all of this is going to court, well, attorney A. Scott Bolden says sometime in June. Reporting live from Southeast Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.